G'day, welcome to the Spontaneous Collection. Today I'll be dismantling this TV. I'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of side cutters. First of all, I'll be removing all these screws that hold the case together. There's about half a dozen. Depending on what size TV you'll be working on, it could be up to a dozen screws. Once all the screws are out, we then need to split the case apart. That comes off nice and easy. I must warn you, you have to ensure there's no power left in this TV when you are dismantling it. You could get a very, very disturbing shock. This TV has been unplugged for close to a month so there's no residual power left in there. I've removed the circuit board from the yoke and now I'm taking off the clamps. Please practice caution around this area because that glass protrusion is very delicate and fragile and will shatter in your hands. I will now remove any cables or wires that are connected to the yoke, grip it firmly and twist it sideways and then pull it straight up. There it is. One yoke full of copper. Next I will remove any printed circuit boards that are accessible. This is the board that was on the back of the yoke. Just cut away the wires. That goes in the P PCB pile. Now for the main printed circuit board. That's still attached to speakers and switches. Cut them away. There's also this thing. That's the degaussing wire. Remove that from the board. Power lead comes off as well. The main board gets put aside. And out comes the degaussing wire. Believe it or not, this is full of strands of copper. I'll use my nifty little stripper to take the sheath off to give you a look. There it is. Nice bundle of copper. That entire loop is copper. Put that aside for further processing. I'll now remove the speakers. They have a little bit of copper in them, but mainly consist of steel. There is some braided wire in there. I'll remove that as well. But that goes into the steel pile. 
So there it is. That case is stripped down and bare. That's our PCB pile. Circuit boards fetch a little bit of money these days. These speakers can go into the scrap pile. And there's the goodies, all that copper. And here's the oak, ready for further processing. It too is full of copper. A little bit of copper in this as well. So here's our collection. Copper wire, circuit boards, yoke, and of course the carcass. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. Till next time, bye for now.